Hello, everyone, and welcome to a new Sega News Bits. I'm your host, George, and with me is Barry. Hello. Today, we're going to be talking about vinyl. Is this the episode for me? Um, <laughs> uh, Data Disc has announced that pre orders for the Sonic Mania vinyl is going to happen this weekend. Uh, they go on sale on the 22nd. Uh, it's going to feature 16 tracks by T Lopes, a gatefold case featuring new artwork. And it comes with a digital download code. It'll come in three versions. One is going to be a limited edition clear with blue, red, orange, and yellow splatter, which looks amazing and is only going to be available on the Data Disc website. And a see-through blue and a classic black, which might be sold in other vinyl stores or record shops near you if you're lucky enough that they carry video games and other Data Disc records. Uh, pre-order is for the limited edition will start on the July 22nd at 12 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 3 a.m. Eastern Time, 8 a.m. British Standard Time, and this is a UK manufacturer, so you're gonna have to pay a little bit more shipping. Uh, we could talk about that in a little bit, but it also says everybody that orders this weekend, which the pre-orders close on the 24th, on Monday, uh, are guaranteed a copy of the limited edition, which is very different uh, data disc, because this is not an actual data disc release. They have a numbered, they have a Sega collection, and they're numbered. Mm -hmm. I have all of them. This one is not going to be numbered. This is kind of like a one-off thing they're doing. So I guess yeah. it's okay to it's okay to do this. But the other ones is first come first serve. The other Sega ones. Yeah. So this this I mean it is a Data Discs release, but it's not a part of their collection. And I mean if Data Discs is new to people listening to this, it, it's strange because it's a company. It, it doesn't have anything to do with Sega in the title, but. From what I've seen, they've only done Sega vinyls, correct? Yeah, yeah, that's right. They've only Which done is kind of surprising. I think they're the ones that got the license. Uh, they're I, I, they've done a really good job. I'm not. Oh no, yeah. Yeah, and I bought all of them already, so I kind of know how the company works. Um, the way they usually work, you sign up for a newsletter thing, and then uh, before, like a couple hours before the thing goes live to sell, they'll send you a code. You uh, put that code in, and it gives you access to the shop. And then when the time comes up, they'll say sold out if you go in early. But then once the actual item goes on sale at the time, they'll go on, you could add it on your cart and then purchase it. It's going to cost $19.99 British pounds, which comes out to about $26. I bought the Altered Beast one last couple weeks ago. And that one I got paid, I had to pay for two of them. I had to pay $10 British pounds, for, I mean, mm. on shipping which came out to about 14 bucks. So uh, keep that in mind that you're gonna have to pay shipping on them to come to your house, and especially considering <laughs> if you're gonna pay, if you're gonna buy more than one. Are you gonna buy one, Barry? Yeah, yeah, I definitely am. I, you know me, I um, I'm, I don't buy the data disc releases like you do, not because I dislike them, just because I didn't have a uh, turntable. And since I've got one, none of the releases have really grabbed me. This one definitely, I definitely want. Um, and I did find the Shinobi one at a local store, which shocked me, because I never thought you could find these at local shops, especially in the U.S. I was going to say that yeah. they also announced that they're going to re-release the Streets of Rage 1 and 2 vinyls on the website. So if you guys want to add a couple more vinyls onto your releases, the Streets of Rage soundtracks are really, really good. And mm. their pressings are really nice. It comes with artwork. It's pretty good. And... Um, they're also teased that they're going to be doing Streets of Rage 3. So there's a lot more Sega vinyl coming soon. Yeah, and um, just to reiterate what you were talking about, with the limited edition, it is confusing because you'd think, oh god, I gotta get on there when, you know, when pre-orders open so I can snag my limited edition. But really, they're taking, a, I guess, an unlimited amount of orders between Saturday the 22nd and Monday the 24th. Yeah. And so... It's, it's limited in the sense that it's limited when you can purchase it. But you could, you know, be lazy on a Sunday and be like, oh, I forgot to purchase it yesterday, and just do it then. And it, it seems like you get, a, you get a vinyl. Now, that's the one you talked with, the splatter. I thought that kind of looked like if you, like, took Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles and put them in a blender and just, like, ground them up. You made them into wax and then just uh, made a vinyl out of it? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and it makes me wonder if that's what they actually did. But, I mean, it's a beautiful... Um, release. It's not the full soundtrack, to my knowledge. Oh, so it's going to be more than 16 sound uh, tracks. I, well, I, th I think this features 16 tracks, 
but the game itself is going to have more music. That's my guess. Okay. I mean, I think 16 tracks is pretty good. It's going to be a single vinyl, so shipping's going to be lower than it would be if it was a double vinyl because they charge more for double vinyls. Because mm-hmm. uh, I've ordered a couple double vinyls from them. So, I mean... I hope everybody orders it, and I hope if you guys like the release, you guys order some of their back catalog of other Sega stuff they've done, because it's all good. It's all worth per- checking out. Um, well, the Hard Boiled Heavies theme was revealed uh, just earlier today as we record this, and it's, it's called High Spec Robo Go, and I think that's the boss theme in the game, so that's definitely on the release. At least I think it is, because it released. They released the track just at the same time that the vinyl was released. Did you hear this track? No, I have not heard it yet. Oh, okay, it's cool. It's you know, it's kind of like a Sonic CD boss theme. It's it's very hard driving. It's got some vocals in it. Um, definitely check it out. Maybe we can play it over uh, the video here so people can hear it themselves. Um, yeah. But I'm, I'm excited for the release. I really am. So I hope people check it out. And uh, one more thing, it doesn't ship till September. So if you pre-order it, uh, have some patience. Give them some time. And uh, thank you guys for listening. Uh, if you guys like this video, share it, uh, subscribe, hit like, or don't do anything. You just give, give us a negative comment. No. No. Well, at least they're, at least they're commenting.